Hi everyone, this is your tarot reading for Monday the 6th of June. Thank you for joining me. I'm using the Wildwood Tarot and I'm going to choose three cards here to give you an insight into the day's energy. What you'll be working with. Okay, so. What have we got? The first card is the Ten of Vessels, which is the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is... An abundance of positive feeling and emotion. You've got this animated as this beautiful waterfall in this deck. And it's happiness, it's dreams coming true, and it's wish fulfillment. So you'll notice that you're very much connected to your own feelings. And you're very much interested in observing your life and seeing what's going on. So what you'll notice is that you have a strong emotional response to your life the way it is. And what that leads to is the six of arrows transition. So you'll start to get ideas of how you can make things better, how you can move forward and how you can alter your life. So let's say you look at your life and things are wonderful, except your relationship. Okay, you'll strongly feel that problem within your relationship. You'll strongly be aware that something's not quite right, that something's missing. And you'll resolve to transition and to do the hard work to get to where you want to go. It's interesting that this boat is a swan because a swan is a symbol of beauty and grace, but it's also about transformation and changing things around. Okay. Finally, we've got the Ten of Stones, which is home. The Ten of Stones is the Ten of Pentacles. It represents solidity and structure and your life long term the solid foundations, the scaffolding of your day-to-day -day existence and what your life actually is, okay? So get ready on this day to really see your life for what it is, to have a strong emotional response to it. If everything is wonderful, you will have a day of great happiness and great gratitude saying, oh my God, my life is wonderful in every possible way. And you'll feel that happiness. If there is something lacking, like most of us will have something that's not quite right because that's the human experience you know we're not never fully healed life is full of problems at times and it's very rare that everything is absolutely perfect so if there is something be ready to see it to become aware of it and to have the feelings that follow so it's the thought the recognition first then the feelings follow and those feelings then will give you ideas of transitioning into a life that is happier that is more stable and how to get those obstacles out of your life and to come to a resting place where you really feel at home and secure and safe and happy. Now this is an ongoing cycle that happens throughout our lives, okay? This is why people strive to make more money or strive to have children or strive to get a better job because they look at what's really there in their lives, they decide that they can do better, they feel driven to make changes and then they create these homes for themselves these emotional, spiritual homes in their own lives where they feel happier. So that's really what this is about. This day in particular, it's really being engaged with the process of life because this is, you know, microcosm, macrocosm. In this one day, this is going on, but this can be a real symbol for our lives in general because that's what our lives are. It's, a, it's an ongoing process of sorting through of becoming more like you want it to be, spiritual progress, and really ending up in a place where you're happy and where you're satisfied with what you've done. And that's what we all do. So let's look at this number-wise. We've got 10 and 10 is 20, and 6 is 26, 2 and 6 is 8, and 8 in numerology is, a, is about power and strength. Okay, And I think the real power and strength will come via your emotions, and you'll have a really strong reaction to things. Sometimes that may not be the case. You know, you may live in the same place for five years and it's been okay. You've never really loved it, but it's been kind of, you know, ho-hum. It's been okay. But on this day, you'll realize that I really don't like this place, for example, and I'm having a strong reaction to it. So the truth kind of walks up to you, looks you in the eye and says, here I am. What's your reaction to me? So it's coming out of denial. It's a day of truth. It's a day of overcoming fear, fear being swept aside and really seeing things with a clear eye. So trust your guidance, trust your, your 
decision making process trust your gut reaction on this day it's valid it's important and it then gives you the strength to make a decision about what your home is what your life is like so it's a very powerful day these kind of days can have a massive impact on your whole life they can alter the course of your life because you get clear on your own feelings and then it ha you know this is what then goes into keeping you in the relationship or moving house or country or changing your job this is where it all begins i hope you have a wonderful day if you'd like a private reading with me to look at what your life purpose is to look at where you should be living what you're supposed to be working at and you're not quite clear and you want some guidance then please get in touch with me my website is gregoryscott.com click on the readings tab and order your reading with me there remember to subscribe to the channel Check out Facebook as well because I'm live on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash Gregory Scott 444 and I'll speak to you tomorrow.